Hey guys, how's it going? Isabella from Aquazone here. So for today's video, we will discuss ammonia in a newly set up aquarium. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe as I bring you weekly videos about different subjects concerning aquariums. get started. So you just got yourself a new aquarium and then you decide to put in fish. But you might have skipped the step of cycling your aquarium. So I'm not going to get into the science of uh, the nitrogen cycle in this video as that will be for another video. But since you're already having the ammonia in your aquarium, I'll tell you in this video how to get rid of it, how to neutralize it and how to establish your cycle. So, if you have a new aquarium and you already got your fish inside, you might notice your fish will start struggling within like a week of putting them inside. Perhaps earlier if you put a bunch of fish in. And if you start feeding them, oh my god, then you're really in big trouble. The first signs of um, ammonia poisoning to your fish is that your fish will refuse eating, start breeding heavy, will have redness on the fins, shredded fins, have all sorts of symptoms of difficulties, and also your water coloration will start being more opaque, meaning not super crystal clear. Those are telltale signs of ammonia in the aquarium. Now you already got the ammonia, what do you do? Well, I'll give you two ways of dealing with it, okay? The first way is if you have another aquarium set up or if your friends or local store has aquarium set up, the easiest way is to add a um, old sponge to your filtration. So basically you take an old cycled sponge with good live bacteria from a previously run well-established aquarium and then you just put it in your filter. Make sure the aquarium is a safe aquarium that doesn't have ick or crazy parasites in it. It doesn't have like fungus in it. Make sure the aquarium where you're taking your sponge is a good, clean aquarium with healthy fish. So if you choose that option, you just have to either take that sponge and squeeze it in your main tank water several times until your water gets quite filthy and then add it to your filtration. That way your live bacteria colonizes your substrate and also your filtration. Because live bacteria, the good one, lives in substrate and in the filtration. It has nothing to do with tank water. So don't just transfer tank water from a pre-existing uh, aquarium. It won't work. It's not within aquarium water. It's only in the substrate and in your um, filtration column. Now, you've done that, but that will not definitely stabilize your aquarium. You need also to add a lot of good porous biomedia to your filtration. Any bio balls, whether they'll be ceramic, whether they'll be sand base, uh, calcare base, whether they'll be plastic, which I like the least because they don't have quite as much surface and they're not quite as organic, according to me. So one of my favorite biomedias to use is actually Seacamp Matrix, which are very porous little pellets that you would put either your sump, your canister filter, your hang-on filter. Also, we have the very common ceramic balls. And there's this new company, well, not quite as new as it is, but it's called uh, Mountain Tree. And uh, it provides a wide range of biological media you can use. So they have a lot of types of amazing media that works amazing to help like colonize your filter with healthy bacteria. You can also use just as simply as crushed lava rocks in your filtration because lava rocks are the most porous uh, rocks there is quite in the hobby. So you've added your biomedia, you've added your live bacteria, but you still will experience some signs of ammonia. Um, don't forget 
get to test your aquarium water for ammonia. Even though you might not see it visually, you might still have it in your water. So always get a good test kit that tests ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite. If you have only ammonia, then your cycling is not done. If you're starting to get some nitrate, nitrite, but still a little bit of ammonia, that means your tank is starting to cycle and convert that ammonia and nitrate and nitrite. So you're on the good path. To help speed up the neutralization of your ammonia, I suggest getting one of the two products. It's both by Seachem. One is called Prime. It's the liquid version of the product called Safe, which is the powdered version. I prefer using the powdered version because it's 10 times as strong, has a longer shelf life, it's easier to use, and I mean, you get more bang for the buck. Usually you would not find that product in pet stores because as I've heard previously, well, if they buy Safe, they will not come back for Prime every couple of months because Safe lasts way longer. So get it online or get in your local pet store if they're willing to order you some. I like to get it on Amazon or eBay, a anywhere really has uh, the product. So if you used uh, option number one, which is adding the live bacteria and the biomedia into your filtration, you will need to dose a uh, safe one quarter of a teaspoon per 75 gallon for the duration of three to five days daily no need for water changes, just dose that product and uh, monitor your test results on the daily. And once you start seeing that ammonia is no longer and it has converted to nitrate and nitrite, you're on the safe path, okay? Also, during those three to five days, I recommend completely stopping feeding of the fish so we don't add more crap to the tank that it cannot digest. After your test results reveal that it has been neutralized, you can result in feeding again, smaller portions than normal, but small and sporadic feedings. Just to get your good live bacteria adapted to uh, the new feeding regimen and the new waste. Now, if you do not have a friend or a store is not willing to give you an old used up sponge, there's a second option. That option is you get a product like Stability and day one, you do a good water change of 50 to 75%. You add your product safe, one quarter of a teaspoon per 75 gallon, and then you add Stability. Stability basically will just kickstart your cycle. But this step you will have to do daily for at least three to five days. Water change, safe, stability, and no feeding during that time. Daily monitor your water chemistry. When you have no more ammonia and you have nitrate nitrite, you can resolve in feeding little micro portions just to help kickstart it. Uh, the second option could take a little longer. So if you see you still have ammonia after three to five days, continue doing smaller water changes. You can start doing like 25, 15% water changes daily, but it will be necessary if you do not infuse in live bacteria to kickstart it. I hope this has helped you with your ammonia neutralization journey. If you have any more questions, please ask me in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And, uh, like this video if you enjoyed the content, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!